shenanigans. Gosh, I hate you. Aye, aye. One more time, one more time. One, two, three. All right, y'all. Y'all better pay attention, because uh, we'll have some illusions happen up here. Yeah. Something like that. Y'all give it up for Watkins, y'all. Give it up, give it up. Woo! All right, so. Oh, God, I hate the sound of my own voice. So. <laughs> I'm going to try this experiment, and I need somebody's help for this. So whoever wants to try this out, just raise your hand. Yeah, but see, I know her, so that wouldn't, that wouldn't be fair. Is anybody? Yeah, there's somebody you don't know. All right, here, how about you? Would you like to try this? All right, cool. All right. And what's your name? Tim. Tim, okay. What I would like you to do is here, I'm gonna... Raise your hand! Yeah. Okay, what I'd like you to do is, this sounds kind of weird, but I want you to think of a person that is important to you, okay? Just their first name, all right? And you can think of that person, right? This is something simple, not like really complex name, you know. Um, <laughs> okay, look. You're thinking of a person, and I don't know, I never met you before this, right? What I want you to do is imagine that person's name printed across that line, okay? Here's what I want you to do is to take this, walk like over there, I'll turn towards the, towards the audience, all right? So I'm not looking at what you're writing. Write down the name of the person you're thinking of, just their first name, print it across there. Fold it up small, put it in your back pocket, and then you can come back over here. Just make sure, uh, and don't try not to let anybody else see it too. I don't want to make it seem like anybody else is in on it, okay? So go ahead and just walk over there, and I'll look this way. <laughs> Here, I'll even close my eyes to make sure. <laughs> All right, you got it in your pocket too? Okay, here, I'll take this. All right, this is something a lot of people don't know about playing cards, is that they weren't originally used to play games. They were used to, like, read people's minds and tell people's futures. You know, you guys probably heard of the tarot deck. You know, she's got one right over there. <laughs> but there's some traces of the tarot deck left in regular playing cards. For instance, we got the red and black cards represent day and night. The uh, 52 cards in a deck represent the 52 weeks in a year. And there are four seasons, there's four suits, you know, it just goes on and on like that. What I'm going to try to do is use these cards to find out the name of the person you're thinking of. Now there's a couple of reasons why I have you write that down. Is number one, so if I'm wrong, you can prove me wrong with that paper, right? But if I happen to be right, you also can't change your mind on me too. It's fair enough? Alright, so here's what we'll do. Go ahead and take these. Sorry, go ahead and take these and mix these up for me. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as you shuffled it. All right. Now here, if you could come over here, I gotta kind of try to project my voice. Go ahead and take out one card that kind of reminds you of the person you're thinking of. Now this part you can show everybody else to make sure, you know, they can go ahead and see this, but I don't want to. <laughs> well, is it good? I mean, like, did you guys see or do you not trust that I... Oh, okay, I get it, yeah. <laughs> All right. Now here, what I want you to do is go ahead and just say stop anywhere as I riffle through. Stop. Right there, do you want to change your mind? Yep. Alright, go ahead and pop it in. Alright, we'll lose it in the deck like that. 
Now, go ahead and say stop one more time here. Stop. All right, so you picked a card, you're thinking of a person, and you put the card in a random spot that you called for in the deck, and then we said stop again, so this is where you wanted to stop at. Come here and hold your hands like this for me. I'm gonna start dealing cards into your hand. For every card that I deal, think like a letter out of the name of the person you're thinking of. Like if you thought Bob, it would be B. Oh, but this is all going on in your head, so don't say it out loud, just, you know. And when I get to the last letter of the name of the person you're thinking of, think stop. Don't say stop, just think stop, okay? You just thought stop, didn't you? You did. <laughs> Hold on a sec. If this all worked out correctly, which I, I'm hoping it did, he, the card that he thought stop at should be the card that he picked earlier, just a second ago. Let's turn it over. What was the card? We got a queen of diamonds. <laughs> One, one second. You're, you're thinking of a person now? You're thinking of a person? Right off the bat, here I'll let you put your hands down. I already know it's a female. Most people think female when they pick a queen. And is this person a relative or anything like that? It is. And this... And here, here, just look at me, just look. It starts with a C, right? What? Just say the name over and over and over again in your head. Is it Clara? <laughs> Thank you. Go ahead and prove it to the rest of everyone.